Now, when we think of the factory of the future, everyone talks about it, but who actually does something about it? I'm with Hui Zhang of ABB Robotics. We, when we talk about the factory of the future, that term has been used for decades to, to mean something. What do we really mean by the factory of the future? Uh, I think uh, the factory of the future, if we're looking at uh, today, it's an additional flexibility requirement. You know, in the past, when we're talking about automation for production, typically it's only the big guys. The guys that are making, you know, thousands and tens of thousands of, uh, of parts every day. And uh, coming to today, not only the big manufacturers, but even the smaller ones are looking for automation solutions. So that uh, you can not only produce, mass produce the same parts over and over again, you have to have, uh, you know, uh, the additional flexibility to accommodate, uh, you know, product changes, parts changes. You have to produce not only one car in the same production line over and over again, and then very often you have to produce five or six models using the same line. So I think the biggest change driven from the industry is, is what's, what's so called mass customization. That is coming. And because of that, ABB's vision for the factory of the future centered around you know, simplification, collaboration, and digitalization. Our vision for future factory is a simplified, connected, collaborative, and digital factory. Now, connectivity, of course, is the key to, to most Industry 4.0, IAOT, is connectivity. Historically, this is a blue-wired, Ethernet-based technology. We're moving toward Bluetooth, wireless. Is, 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 it, is, is connectivity possible with security and reliability? Absolutely. I think uh, this comes in with our latest offer in the robot controller. The newest uh, controller for robots, what we call Omnico controller, come in with uh, built-in connectivity, what we call Power On Connect. With Power On Connect, you can not only connect to uh, you know, mobile network, Wi-Fi, uh, any Ethernet connection, uh, there is also additional cybersecurity requirement on this controller. And uh, with that, I think we would want to guarantee that uh, however you want to connect, your data is secure. Now, increased flexibility usually means more programming. You have to completely, re essentially, virtually reconfigure the line all the time. Uh, this puts additional pressure, of course, on engineering staff and technical staff to do this programming there. Uh, is, it, is it simpler, easier today to do that? It used to be a very complex thing to program a robotic assembly system. I think you hit uh, the, 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 the problem right on the head. This is where our simplification come into place. How do we want to simplify? You cannot simplify by, you know, get rid of stuff. You have to, you have to simplify based on new technology. The new technology we are bringing into the market today is, uh, you know, uh, what they call the digital twin technology. And the ABB has been working on a, a, a software tool called Robo Studio more than 20 years ago. And uh, so we can say that we are already uh, using a, a digital model back 20 years ago. But with more uh, technology advancement, you know, with uh, virtual reality, augment, augmented reality, and the mixed reality, you have a possibility that you can never imagine before. So uh, uh, the, 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 the technique that offered through Digital Twin, you can already program, troubleshooting, and also commission the, your entire system before you have the physical things built in, on the factory floor. So imagine what kind of uh, time saving and cost saving you can do with this new technology. And we can showcase some of those things uh, on, the, on the ABB booth today. The factory of the future is simple, says Hui Zhang of ABB Robotics.